the showdown comes in Southeast Asia, retaliating for North Vietnam firings on the U.S. destroyer Maddox and two days later on a sister ship patrolling the Gulf of Tonkin, America delivers a swift blow to the communist aggressor. From the aircraft carrier Ticonderoga and from the larger Constellation, planes fly 64 sorties against four North Vietnam PT bases and an important oil storage depot. That country's navy consists of about 50 patrol boats of various sizes, including converted junks. It was PT boats that fired on the American destroyers in international waters. The U.S. jet fighters and fighter bombers destroy or damage 25 of the aggressor boats and about 10% of North Vietnam's oil storage capacity. It is night in Washington during the afternoon hours of the raids against North Vietnam when President Johnson tells his countrymen of the decisive action. In the larger sense, this new act of aggression aimed directly at our own forces again brings home to all of us in the United States the importance of the struggle for peace and security in Southeast Asia. Aggression by terror against the peaceful villagers of South Vietnam has now been joined by open aggression on the high seas against the United States of America. The determination of all Americans to carry out our full commitment to the people and to the government of South Vietnam will be redoubled by this outrage. Yet our response for the present will be limited and fitting. We Americans know, although others appear to forget, the risk of spreading conflict. We still seek no wider war. I have instructed the Secretary of State to make this position totally clear to friends and to adversaries and indeed to all. I have instructed Ambassador Stevenson to raise this matter immediately and urgently before the Security Council of the United Nations. And now the Security Council called into session over Soviet objections. Here's Ambassador Stevenson. In Southeast Asia, we want nothing more and nothing less than the assured and guaranteed independence of the peoples of that area. We are in Southeast Asia to help our friends preserve their own opportunity to be free of imported terror, of alien assassination managed by the North Vietnam communists based in Hanoi and backed by the Chinese communists from Peking. For the past three years, the United States has been giving increasing military aid in the form of advisors and equipment to the South Vietnamese army, fighting a frustrating battle against communist guerrillas mostly infiltrating from the Red China-dominated North Vietnam. Since 1954, Washington has supported South Vietnam and neighboring Laos in their struggle to maintain their independence against communist threats and communist tactics to dominate all of Southeast Asia. But until the puzzlingly motivated attacks on the American warships, there has been no overt action. Washington could only supply advisors and materials, especially the helicopters that are as effective as anything for combating an elusive enemy in the swamps and jungles of this inconclusive battlefield. Now the United States follows up its first military attack since the Korean War, not with further attacks, but with the rushing of new aid to South Vietnam and strengthening the defense of the northern frontier. Red China, recognized as the instigator of the raids in the Gulf of Tonkin, is the real enemy, and the American sorties were within 50 miles of her border. Beyond her first expected verbal attacks, her future actions are almost wholly unpredictable. Whatever the next days or months may bring, the American people are united behind their president, election year or no election year, in a matter of national honor and national responsibility. It is a solemn responsibility to have to order even limited military action by forces whose overall strength is as vast and as awesome as those of the United States of America. 
but it is my considered conviction shared throughout your government that firmness in the right is indispensable today for peace. That firmness will always be measured. Its mission is peace.